G'day guys, Christopher here. It's Arts Next time for July already, and I'm doing my very first Arts Next collab this month as well. So let's dive in and go on an art adventure. So first up, before we unbox the Arts Next box for July, I got this little gift in the mail from Sandrine of Sandrine's Gallery. And we also have decided to pair up this month and decide to draw animals doing jobs together as our art snacks challenge. So I'll use whatever supplies are in the box for art snacks this month to do that. And then this is just a little extra bonus gift from Sandrine. And of course I will put her channel cut up in the card, <laughs> put the link to her channel up in the card and I'll also leave a link in my description. You should totally check her out. She is amazing. I've been friends with her online for maybe a year or so now, I'm not sure, quite a while. And I think I found her because of her amazing art snacks unboxings and the things she creates. So, ooh, what have I got? <gasps> ah, I've been so excited to try this and I left a comment in her um, video where she bought a larger pad of this and she had this little sample that I was really excited to try. It's black watercolor paper. Thank you so much, Sandrine. I can't believe how excited I am to get into this. And it's so thoughtful of you. Thank you so much again. And I'm also looking forward to seeing what animal you create with your new Art Snacks supplies. I need to go unbox my box, so let's dive into it. Okay, here we go. Bam. Okay, menu aside. We have snack, crybaby, extra sour. I do enjoy sour if you saw last month. Oh man, no sticker again. Art Snacks actually sent me two stickers last time to make up for it, but seriously, like emailing them every time is getting to be a bit of a joke. <laughs> I just don't know why they don't find a new way to get the sticker in. Have I butchered it? Sort of, not so bad. And they're all wrapped up. Ooh, I see watercolors and they're Daniel Smith. Do I have them? I might have these colors. I'm not sure. Still, I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna be sad about Daniel Smith stuff. And awesome, a big brush. Usually Art Snacks gives you tiny little brushes. I'm so excited to see an eight round. And not only that, it's a Princeton which is an incredible brand. And I haven't tried the Aqua Elite before. And what's this? A sketch and wash. I've been wanting something like this for so long. I'm so excited about that. Ooh, interesting metal cap on the end. So it's a general sketch and wash. I'm assuming it's a water soluble pencil for sketching. And we have a Pigma graphic with a bullet nib, I guess. So let's go. Oh, I was complaining and they actually followed my advice. <laughs> this is what I put in my email that they should just wrap up the sticker into the parcel, right? And so now they have and sweet, problem solved. I found out that Lee, one of the co-creators of Art Snacks is the guy that actually does these designs. So huge props to Lee for all these cool designs. But enough chit chat, let's go swatch all these bad boys with this awesome new brush. I'm excited. Our first item is the Sakura Pigma Graphic Pen 1mm Bullet Nib. It's $2.99 retail. Like all Micron pens that I've tried before, it has a really consistent ink flow and it's waterproof. You can usually use them with alcohol markers, especially if you leave the ink to settle for a while as well. Because it's a bullet nib, you can get a little bit of variation in line width, but not too much. And really you have to get that variation by just going over different areas and kind of coloring in with it if you want that effect. Our second item is the General Sketch and Wash Pencil for $149 retail. I've never tried a water soluble graphite pencil before, so this was really fun for me. I found that it dissolved really readily and that it created a really smooth wash. It's not the darkest of pencil leads, something more like, I don't know, a 3B or so, but that's fine for me. 
We then have the exciting Daniel Smith duo. I received Cronacono Rose and New Gamboge. These range in price from $9.42 to $12.60 each. It depends on the series that you're getting. And as all Daniel Smith paints, they didn't disappoint at all. They're so vibrant, so powerful, and you can really build them up. Um, so you can go from a very, very light wash to a very, very powerful, intense wash. I found for my tubes, as soon as I opened them, that paint began to burst out. But thankfully I was able to save that paint and put it immediately onto a palette. Just take care if you haven't opened yours yet. And finally we have the Princeton Aqua Elite Series 4850 Synthetic Kalinsky Sable Brush Round Size 8. Wow, that's a mouthful. It retails for $21.95. Maybe that seems a bit overpriced for me. You'd probably want to check that yourself, but this was a fantastic brush. I'm so happy that Art Snacks included a larger brush. Often you just get small brushes in an Art Snacks box, and this was just a delight to use, and it allowed me to create a piece that was bigger than normal, or bigger than I normally would for an Art Snacks box. The other reason why I've gone a little bit all out this month though is as I've mentioned before I am doing a collab and it's with the wonderful Sandrine's Gallery. I've already put a card up and her link is in the description if you want to check her channel out. She is a fantastic YouTuber and an amazing artist. I just I'm so excited every time she posts something and I learned so much from her. So if you haven't seen her before, I strongly, highly recommend that you go check out her channel. She also receives art snacks and does art snacks unboxings. So you can go and watch hers as well, see what colors she got. I'm excited to see what she got. And we are both collabing in a Chris Ayres style piece of art this month. So Sandrine explains who Chris Ayres is in a recent video of hers. He's an artist who was horribly diagnosed with cancer and during this time he took up art to have something to distract him and to focus on and he decided to start drawing an animal every day and he ended up creating the Daily Zoo series and that series involves a whole bunch of different animals but they're not always just normal animal portraits. Some of them are kind of fantasy or more illustrative sort of animals where sometimes they're even doing jobs. And that's the case with this challenge that Sandrine and I have set ourselves. We've decided to make our animals do some sort of job, like a human would. Mine is a rosate spoonbill bird and this bird is being a rice farmer and I've had the good fortune to be able to travel to places where there are these rice terraces so that immediately came up into my mind. The reason why I chose the spoonbill by the way is because of the colors that I received this month. I didn't even know that this bird existed. I googled what are animals that are pink and yellow and this is the first one that came up and boy if you look at the reference photo which I'll insert it really is a very pinky and yellowish sort of bird very pink in some cases and I just thought it would be perfect to be able to do a rice terrace scene at sunset and to have those sorts of sunsetting glowing colors with it and then work on shadows a bit with the water soluble graphite pencil or the general sketch and wash is it called? Let me check. Yeah, the general sketch and wash pencil and then to have my outlines and line work done in the... Sakura Pigma graphic pen. Gosh, these all have some pretty intense names to them, especially that brush as well. It definitely is a mouthful, but it is a delight to paint with. I'm so excited to be painting with it and add it to my collection. I just think it's a fantastic brush. Perfect for me anyway, for this sort of A4 sized piece. And I just really enjoyed painting with it. I could do fairly large washes. I pushed it to the limit, I think, for the size of the wash that I was doing. For example, with the, the mountain areas or the rice terraces. Sometimes I wish that I had a slightly bigger brush, the sky as well. But in general, I think I composed it in a way that the brush was able to sweep along nicely for the size that it is. And it comes to a really nice point and holds it really well. So I found it fantastic for doing detail work as well. And then once I got down 
uh, first general wash. I started to put in those tighter details on a second pass. And I even went through for a third pass to really show how vibrant Daniel Smith paints can get and to give you an idea of what you can achieve if you decide to layer up your watercolors when you're playing with yours. Especially if you haven't used them before, Daniel Smith paints I think can be a bit overwhelming um, Firstly, because they're expensive, so then you might be hesitant to use them. And then secondly, because they're just so pigmented. So you really have to play around a little bit to figure out how much water to add, how much um, to wet your brush, how much to blend with, and all those sorts of things. I also recommend having two bottles of water or containers of water so that when you're rinsing your brush, the strong pigment will color that first water bottle or container and then you can rinse off in a second one and have a clean set of water always available when you need to do watery washes or whatever you might need. And then I finally finish off by going back with my outliner pen and really putting in some strong shadows. Some of them I guess I'm not so successful with because shadow work is new and challenging for me. But in general, I like the contrast that I built up here. And I think it just ends up being a really cool illustration, a really cute little illustration of this spoonbill going about the terraces, planting the rice. And I imagine that it does that by just using its bill to reach into one of the baskets and then just placing it into the watery soil and then taking another step and repeating it all day long. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this Art Snacks unboxing and my Art Snacks challenge. Thank you so much if you're also new here from Sandrine's channel and don't forget to stop by her channel. She, you won't be disappointed. Fantastic, wonderful artist. And I'll see you guys soon for another art adventure. Remember, create more, consume less. Bye.